gonna get changed now. I'm really excited to get back on, get in the arena. Never do three days, so this is like a exciting time. And it's day three. So it's day three of Wellington Premier League. After an exciting two days, make sure to check those vlogs out if you haven't seen them. And I've got a PSG on Eagle and an into one on wealth and then we're going home so i'm going to try and vlog again today this is the third day in a row i forgot how hard it is vlogging like one day after the other um but yeah how am i feeling kind of okay um i was a bit sad going to bed last night and then i read some messages that some people sent me i'll show you guys them now <laughs> And yeah, it really cheered me up because I know obviously that wasn't the result I wanted, but it's really nice that everybody, because there was like 300 people there, probably more than that. Um, it's kind of nice that everyone saw that I was trying to help him best I could and that he was, he was really nervous. But I am actually really impressed we got through it because he was that, that wound up. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll see how today goes. I'm quite tired, but apart from that, we're fine. <laughs> Nothing up time. So they're all happy ponies, all plaited, all walked, all hand grazed, all bellies full. And I'm gonna get changed now. I'm really excited to get back on, get in the arena. Never do three days, so this is like a exciting time. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get ready. We ready. So I'm all ready. How am I feeling? Like really chilled. Um, I'm so happy that I get to go back in. Um, I feel like quite at peace at the moment, which is really strange. I do feel like everything I'm going through is for a reason. I'll put you down there. I'm just going to literally pick your whip up. Okay. Anyway, everything I'm going through is for a reason. If it was easy, then I don't think I'd be learning as much as I am now. Also, when I talk to every single professional rider, I mean, like, I've spoken to a lot of them because we're all here in the same car park for a while, and every single one of them goes through the same thing. So we all, like, yeah, have those bad times, have those struggles. And I don't mean, like, bad times as in one bad show. I mean as in, like, five years bad times. Like, okay, that's a bit of exaggeration, but you know what I mean? Like, you see people who are, like, soaring high at Grand Prix, and then that horse retires, and then they have to build themselves up all the way that horse might not make it um it might not be good enough it might whatever you know it's ridiculous like it's it's such a hard sport that um i just think we all need to be quite kind on ourselves keep pushing keep keep determined but don't let the bad ones get you down um and if they do use that frustration to get better because i you know i always say like don't don't let it affect you but it does affect me massively um but i use it for a good way bless him he's not the most talented but he tries so hard this horse Stay on the bed.
So Eagle's done his PSG and he tried so hard and he was really good. Um, just a little bit wobbly but he felt much better. So that's good. Mum warmed me up again and she did a good job. So I'm just gonna get Will Freddy to give it a bash again. So I'm just gonna go and see what Eagle got and get a coffee and then get on Wilfy Woo. So we're about to get ready. And I just watched Charlotte do a test and I'm not sure that was a good idea. <laughs> um, I just said to mum, I better not try and override now. I'll just ride what I have. And then we'll give it a go when we get home. Why do you always pull that face? Let's hope this is a bit tired than last night. Arena 3, thank you very much there to Lucy Fanon and Nabisco. Our next rider is 116, Olivia Towers. And Olivia is riding Mercian Caliso. Yeah, he put on it, yeah. I don't know why they told her that for, for doing a circle.
buhay lang ang mangkin. on the head so um let me update you with wilfred the warm-up was amazing it was actually really good that i watched charlotte because i watched what she did uh did in the warm-up and she does like a lot of on and back like they she goes they go for medium canter then they come back and they really sit and then she like the minute they've come back she just lets go with the rain and then they're in self-carriage and so that's what i really worked on doing with wilf and it made a massive difference and i found my trot that i got at home yes so had big trotting warm-up which is really good then I went in to do my test and I was trotting around the outside and I was doing my on and back. I was like, yeah, this is going to be a good one. I felt like that fire in my belly, which I've kind of been lacking this show. And I'm so glad it was back. I was like, yeah, I can do this. And I was like, I don't care if I have mistakes, but I just don't want to dribble around anymore. So anyway, went in the test, went down the centre line, halted, did a really long halt because I know that's something, again, that I just rush too much. I was like, wicked, went round the corner, went to do my medium trot. So sat him back pressed to go and so he stood on himself so that happened and then he literally was like ow my foot so i walked and i was like oh my god like what's happened and i'm walking him round and i'm like oh no i'm gonna have to stop and take him out and then the judge came out and she's like i think he's all right now because he was walking fine and i was like oh can i just trot to do a circle just to check he is and she was like well not really i'm gonna take two marks off um but okay so i was like screw the two marks i needed to check he was okay because i wasn't going to carry on if he wasn't okay so i put him into trot and he was fine um but kind of lost the push and lost the like energy i was like ah um so went through the test with not as good as it was in the warm-up but i'm just glad i actually got to do the test for one um but he was really good and i felt like i i rode it better and i was trying to do what charlotte does again you know with the the half halt let go use your leg as you half halt so the engine doesn't die all this jazz i just i feel really excited like i feel if i can keep doing that i'll get much better quickly i just need to keep remembering to do that so everybody has to remind me olivia are you doing your on and back and when you come back do you let go and still use your legs olivia <laughs> anyway i'm pumped i don't know what mark i'm gonna get because i'm gonna get two marks taken off of course of error which is so sad but all that matters is the wolf's okay. So um, yeah, that's the update. So we are just gonna carry on packing out. We just had some lunch, but I forgot my camera. Sorry guys. And then, yeah, we're gonna pack up and then go home, so yeah but yeah overall i'm actually feeling really positive um i don't know how many times i say this but i do feel like yeah I, i've learned a lot definitely and i do feel like i can do it and um i'm excited we got this sproutless says hey guys hope you enjoyed the vlog seeing me all the time because i'm just great I'm just great. It's funny now, people recognise Sprout. The lorry got stuck. Jeez, it really does sink, doesn't it? Ready to go home. Into one pony. You a good boy when you will, Fee. Yeah, you fell over. I'm Dory. 
story guys